Hi, we're the Campbells. This is Margaret. Hi. And I'm Sarah. And today we're doing science for Vacation Bible School. It's, our little science experiment here has to do with the Big Bang. And Maggie, do you know what the Big Bang is? Uh, yeah. It was the, er, it's the beginning of the universe and everything. And, like, what do you think happened? Well, everything was sort of stuck and compacted into a little space and then it blew up and then slowly moved out and formed space. That's right. And I mean, I guess, do you know how we think we know there is such a thing as a Big Bang? Um, well, everything is still slowly moving away from everything. That's right. Everything's so. just slowly expanding in space and getting further and further apart from each other. So they think if they took that way back in time to the very beginning, it must have all started in the same location. Yeah. And then, um, you know, it's kind of a mystery about how did the bang actually happen, right? So, like, maybe some godlike figure or somebody made the bang happen, right? Which then made the universe. Yeah. Who's to say, really? We don't know. <laughs> nope. So, here we are. We have some balloons. Whatever kind you like. Whatever color you like. We have some tiny little pieces. What could you they be? You can use Legos, rice, dried corn, any small little pieces. Beans or peas, something yeah. hard. Yeah. Or, what did you say your teacher used one time? Glitter. Glitter, right. If your mom doesn't mind a big, lovely mess, glitter might be an option for you. <laughs> and then we have some pins, right? And yeah, we have a funnel. funnel. Um, this one is too small for the Lego pieces. They don't fit. So we made our own funnels. Out of paper and laminated paper. Yeah, we just happened to have a multiplication sheet that was laminated. So I'm going to try that one. And Maggie rolled up some paper. And she's going to try that. So first, we're going to stretch these balloons a little bit. Do you think you can blow that up? Yeah. And we, we just wanted to blow them up so they would have some space. And now we're going to try and get our funnels to go in the neck of the balloon. Do you think you can stretch that over there? Get one side. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, almost. Alright, so take your funnel and then your balloon that you already blew up. You can. Put it on there. Can you want to roll it on? Yep, that's good. It should Kay. work mostly. Okay. I know. We're, we're going to put some rice on there. Um, can you pour it? Yeah. Okay, it's up. It's probably enough. Let's see. Oh, it's fake. Oh, I hear it. That's enough. Okay, I'm just gonna pour that back in. Okay, and then just take your balloon off your funnel. Tie you it up. Blow it? You have to oh, blow it up. Yeah. Alright, now comes the fun part. We're going to make a big bang. Are we? Break. Yep. Take a little break. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, Maggie, look what happened. <laughs> it's all spread out. Rice went everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. It's even on the ground. Here's a piece of the balloon over here. There's another piece over there. Jeez. What can we imagine that each of these little grains of rice might be in the universe? Uh, universe? Like, or a galaxy maybe? Yeah, maybe each a one's a galaxy? And they all just kind of spread out? And there's tons of galaxies. Tons of galaxies just getting further and further away from each other. And it's, it's a kind lot of, neat. of planets. Yeah. The most, uh, yeah. Can you imagine how many planets that would be? So this is kind of how the scientists kind of believe that the universe began, right? 
And so in the creation story, or the poem that's in the Bible, mm -hmm. there's the very beginning when God created light and right all that good stuff. Yeah. Um, and so maybe, what do you think? Like maybe this is kind of how God started the first day by making the Big Bang. <laughs> Creating the world. Creating all the worlds and the universes. Yeah, I don't know.